So I had a lot of requests from you gals out there wanting to know what I thought the top basics for every girl's closet should be. So these are my picks and I decided to go with 10 because I think that there's 10 essentials that really every girl should have. Clearly I have a lot of options because I'm constantly doing photos and shoots and different things where I need a lot of different options. But I think for the basic, average, everyday wardrobe, there's 10 basic items that I think every girl should always have. So I'm going to start with number one for me. Especially being a cowgirl, I love jeans. So I think every girl should have a great fitting pair of jeans. Doesn't matter the size, it doesn't matter the brand. All that matters is that you look and feel great in them. That they make your butt look great, that you feel great in them. That is number one. So always have a really great go-to pair of jeans. I think a lot of girls get carried away with having so many different jeans and half of them are their skinny jeans and half of them are their fat jeans and I don't believe in all of that. I think you should just keep the things that really fit you well and that really look good on you that you feel good in because I think it just makes you feel bad when you go into your closet and you know you're not going to fit into something. So just stick with what really fits you great and that you feel great in. Great pair of jeans. That's number one. Number two is just a basic wife beater tank top. I think they're amazing. They go under anything. You can dress it from day to night. Um, a lot of times if I go out country dancing, I'll just wear a great pair of jeans and some boots and a little wife beater. Sometimes if I want to dress it up a little bit, if I'm going to lunch or I'm going to a little dinner date, I can wear a great pair of jeans with a wife beater and dress it up with a really great blazer. This brings me to item number three. And I have so many things in my closet that they're falling off. But it's actually a blazer too and it's a really great one and you can't really go wrong with Chanel. So any great blazer paired with a great wife beater and a great pair of jeans and a cute pair of heels. Can't really go wrong with that. It looks really cute and you can take it from day to night. So that is really important. The next thing I'm going to suggest that you have in your wardrobe is a really great comfy just sundress, something long and flowy that's a great comfortable material that you can kind of lounge around in or during the summer kind of hit the grocery store or the mall or whatever you're doing with a great pair of sandals. So I have a lot of these in a lot of different colors and I really, really love these. Next thing I recommend that you always have is a great basic top, something that you can also wear from day to night with some good jeans. Um, this is a great one because it's kind of a nice light fabric. You can dress it up with a great pair of heels or you can dress it down with some cute sandals or some cute flats in your jeans. Um, and it's a great date look. So that's a great basic to have in your closet. Another basic I recommend is having some kind of professional type of dress, something that's a little more conservative, definitely below the knee, doesn't show a lot of cleavage, something that if you have a meeting or something that you need to go to or you need to look a little bit more professional, but you don't necessarily want to wear a suit or a blazer, you've got to have something in your basics that you can do that with. Next is the old standby, which is a little black dress, something that looks and feels great on you, um, something that you can wear to a nice dinner, that you could wear to an event, that you could wear for a great date. Um, just something that you look and feel really good in, but that's a casual, you know, basic for you to go out. Um, not too, too over the top, just kind of right in the middle. So that's a good basic. The next basic are some really cute loungy pants. Now, I know these kind of look funny on the hanger because they're a, kind of a funky pattern, but they're so cute. And in the summertime when you're hot and you don't really feel like wearing jeans or you don't really feel like a dress, you can grab some great loungy pants, pair it with a cute tank top or a cute top, some great flats or sandals, and it just makes a really cute, cute summer outfit. Pair it with some cute bangles and some cute accessories and you're in business. Um, the next one, these are for going out. I recommend every girl have a cute pair of some kind of little hot pants, whether they're, you know, these are kind of stretchy and a little bit rock and roll, but you can wear them with a wife beater. You could wear them with that cute little pink top, the little basics, some heels. You could wear them with boots. You can wear them with a lot of different things to go out dancing or go to a club or a night out with your girlfriends. I think it's a great basic to have in your closet. 
And last but certainly not least, for those days when you just are not having a good hair day, no matter how hard you try, no matter what you do, I think you have to have a great hat, something that fits you really well. For me, a go-to for me is always going to be a cowboy hat. I have hundreds of them and I love them and they look great on me with my, you know, my bone structure and my hair. I really love them and they keep the sun off my face when I'm riding. But a lot of people don't like cowboy hats or they just don't you know, fit their personalities. So it could be a baseball hat, it could be a cute little fedora, it could be anything. But I recommend you have a cute hat that you can just throw on in a pinch if you can't get your hair to look the way you want. So those are my top 10 basics that every girl should have in her closet. Another day, maybe we'll go through shoes and uh, do a little basics on that. But that's my top 10 for your wardrobe.